Okay, so we have this all figured out. I have the, the box mounted. Okay, it's mounted to the box. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these screws out eventually, but before I do that, we got to take some of the box apart so I can see, okay, where, okay, the brace is. I want the hole to be as close as I can to that. You want the hole, the sound hole, to be as close as the fret wire as we can get it. So what I do is I take the hole saw bit, we'll take it apart, okay, and what I do is I like place it over here. And I figure out how close can I get to that so I don't hit that. So I'm going to get it to about right about there. And I'm going to drill the hole. And I, only, I already marked it. Okay, so we're going to use this bit. Okay, it's called a hole saw. The way we put it in. Okay, we back this up. You can see that these parts move to keep this saw part locked in place. So we're going to take this. This is our pilot bit. Pilot bit should. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look inside here. We're going to line this up. Okay, then these little tabs will go through. Okay, now they're locking that in place. And we tighten this. Not really tight, just hand, snap, hand tight. Now the pilot bit should be about a pencil height above the saw blade. And that's about the size of it right there. Okay, so now we're ready to drill this. I'm going to take this off. I take these screws out, I'm going to bring it over to the drill press, and I'm going to drill this hole with the hole saw bit. And now I got the hole saw bit into the drill press, and we're going to start drilling that hole. It's a good idea to punch that hole, make a little dent there so it follows the dent, because you want to get it right exactly in the middle. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a, a little dent right at that mark, because I got it perfectly marked. So we got that marked. I'm going to start up the drill press. I probably keep it about, I would say about 400. It's going to really slow it. Let's go 150 RPM. And we'll raise our blade up. We're going to that small bit too good later in the morning. Okay, we're going to go slow with this. This is the sound hole. We're going to try to bring it up. Don't bring it completely out. Just to get some of the sawdust out. bit to level it. Okay, we're going to finish it off. down okay now this bit was the perfect height now the reason I turned it over is 
because I didn't want it, this, this piece of wood to get stuck inside the hole saw. Okay, and you can see that I cut that right out. If I would have kept going through, this would have got stuck and I would have, would have had to wedge it out. There's the final sound hole, okay? So do that when you're ready.